In this video, I'm gonna take you on a tour of a home that just got reduced $51,000. Let's go. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Josh Bryan and I'm your Tampa Bay area real estate expert. If you're thinking about making a move, reach out. I would love to be a resource for you. My description will be in the, or my contact information will be in the description below. Um, today, I am out in Spring Hill in the Pasco County area, way south of, you know, for Spring Hill. And I'm gonna show you this property behind me that just got reduced $51,000. So enough talking, let's start the tour. All right, this property is in the Deerfield Lakes subdivision. And we're actually in the Pasco County part of Spring Hill. So very south uh, Spring Hill, just north of 52, right by the Suncoast Parkway, which is the toll road, easy access down into Tampa. This is a four bedroom, four bath, 2,562 square feet, built in 2014. Originally, $500,000 and it has been reduced over time to $449,000. There is a yearly HOA fee of $630. No CDD fee though, so that's good. And the taxes were $33.22 per year. Let me pan around the neighborhood, show you what it looks like, then we will go inside. Right, let's take a walk inside. So nice paver driveway, two car garage, got some nice landscaping up here. All right, so let's go inside and take All a right. look. So when you come in, this is uh, laminate flooring, but it looks really nice. It's got that wood look, um, the light and airy kind of look. And then you have your know, tall ceilings here. This is actually a nice house, especially for an uh, open door, to be honest with you. Um, if the backyard was bigger and didn't back to a neighbor, I would actually consider putting an offer in on this one myself. All right, so linen closet there. To the left is going to be bedroom number one, ceiling fan. You look out the front. You have the marble on the window seal. One thing I don't like is, you know, the door, the bedroom door opens right into the bifold door for the closet, which is not the end of the world, but if you look, I could, you know, hit the doors. Not a big fan of that, but it is what it is. All right, continuing on, your HVAC is gonna be here. And then bathroom number one, the white cabinets, the granite countertops, and your tub and shower. And that is tile instead of uh, the fiberglass insert. And then bedroom number two right here, the ceiling fan. Looks out to the side of the house. Pretty decent size. I mean, it's just a standard closet, but pretty decent size, especially compared to the size of the bedroom. All right, continuing on. Going into the main area of the home. And you Come in here to the left is gonna be your coat closet. And to the right, and right again, this is gonna be your laundry room. And goes out to your two car garage. Come 
in out of the laundry room, you turn right, and this is going to be bedroom number three. And the window shows out to the side yard. And then your closet. And then this one actually has a bathroom off of it. So nice for you know, guests or whoever have their own little suite here. This is interesting because this is under the stairs. So you have some under stair storage, which I would, you know, obviously put some shelving or something so you could store towels or whatever, whatever you like. But that's nice to have it off this bedroom. All right, let's go upstairs and then we will come back down and tour the rest of the home. So up the stairs, you're going to have a gigantic loft. Didn't even mention that at the beginning of the video, but gigantic loft. So huge, huge area here. You have, um, this is gonna be looking out the front of the house here. And then obviously the side of the house. And there's also a bathroom up here. So if you're hanging out here, up here, watching the game, doing whatever you're gonna do up here, you don't have to go downstairs to use the bathroom. There is one up here. Once again, that's tile on the shower tub surround. So really nice. So right here, this would be your dining area here. And then this is gonna be your living room family area. And then your kitchen is right here. The white cabinets, same granite countertops that are in the bathrooms. Electric appliances. And then over here is going to be your pantry. And then at the back of the house is going to be your master suite. So you walk in to the left is going to be your closet. And then here is the bedroom. You have the crown molding all around. This window here faces out to your backyard. And then this one faces to the side of the house. And then here is your bathroom. Linen closet right here. Your double vanity. And your big soaker tub. And your walk-in shower. And then right behind that is going to be where your toilet is. All right, let's go outside. Take a look at the backyard. I didn't look up this builder, but I think it, it might be David Weekly. I don't know, because they use like those nautical... Uh, fans and, and light fixtures but that could also be a one-off so when you come out here you have a covered lanai and it's screened in which is nice and you have you see the shades here to come down block the sun and it's a fenced yard so let's go out let's go on this side take a look all right so right here no gate on this side but it is fenced all the way around But definitely not big enough for a pool. Let's go through the, the jungle. All right. So this all the way. So you have all this nice landscaping to you know, create a little bit of privacy. And then on this side is where the gate is. So that's going to be it on this property. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. 
All right, so I hope you enjoyed today's tour. If you did, make sure to give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought about it. And if you're thinking about moving to the Tampa Bay area, reach out. I would love to be a resource for you. My contact information will be in the description below. And until next video, take care.